So anyway, I'm just babbling. Ooh, that one. You're definitely a fooey. I mean, you are a fooey. Hey guys, welcome back. So we've got Friday favorites and fooies for you today, and my favorites this week were a little bit all over the place, but like toward, well, the beginning of the week, they were a little bit all over the place, but then by the end of the week, I had kind of like, well, once I started using certain products, I stuck with those certain products. That's what I'll say. So I've got some things that I love, love, love in this favorites. Um, I was feeling, well, at the beginning of the week when it was kind of all over the place, it was one sort of makeup look, but then I started getting into this like glowy, girly sort of makeup look. Today I've got a very like 80s kind of Barbie sort of makeup going on. I use different colors today, but I did use the same palette that I use, you know, most of the week. So anyway, I'm just babbling, but I've got some good favorites, so let's get to it. So at the beginning of the week, I wore this little guy on my eyes, and this is awesome. I put up a new at the drugstore haul swatches type of a video on Wednesday, and this is one of the products I showed. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome, and this is in the color Bronze Sheen. These are really nice. They're crazy long wearing. The lighter color I have, which is like, I think, Gilded Rose or something like that. That one needs to be built up a little bit. This one, I don't find it to be that way, really. Um, but I love the color of it, and it's just crazy long wearing. So I was doing a really easy eye look one day. I used this, and I didn't use anything over it. I was thinking about it. I didn't use anything over it. All I did was I put a little bit of bronzer in my crease, put this on my lid, blended it with kind of like a sort of like a fluffy kind of concealer type of a brush. That's what I blended it out with. And it was just easy, easy, long wearing. Timothy even complimented my eye look. He was like, oh, I really like your eye look today. And I was like, thank you. It was a very easy one. So he got to learn a little bit about eye chromes. <laughs> so anyway, it's a really cool product. I think it works really well. It's too expensive in my opinion. It was like, I think around $10 at Walgreens. That's crazy talk but I like it. It's a good product. So anytime BH Cosmetics says the free shipping over like 20 or $25 thing, that always tempts me because I usually have a couple things from them that I'm eyeing. So I grabbed these two when they did that recently and I love them so much. So first off, this one, the Galaxy Chic, several of you guys had mentioned this one to me and so it's been on my wish list for a while. I've been kind of eyeing it and almost purchased it multiple times. So I finally got it. It was like $12. So this is the 18 color baked eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. I mean, look at all these fun colors. Just a good time. So beautiful. So I've got a little bit of this one on my lid, a little bit of this on my lower lash line. I actually do have a little bit of this one um, on my lower lash line as well. Oh, and I wore Milky Way this week. Oh my gosh, this one right here. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. These shadows, y'all, these are incredible. So I wore them both foiled. So I would wet my brush with MAC Fix Plus or I would use them dry. What I mostly would do is do them foiled kind of on my lid and then sort of blend them up dry. That worked really well. Ooh, that one. What? I have a little tiny bit of that on kind of my inner corner, but it's sort of mixed with the turquoise, so you don't see it quite as much. But I did wear this one this week, and this is like amazing. These are just gorgeous baked shadows. They're beautiful dry like you see them there. They're still super pigmented, but if you wet these, if you foil these, oh my gosh. Like when I did this look today, it was like I have got turquoise metal melted metal on my eyeballs and it's amazing. I mean, it just looks like metal, like so metallic and dimensional and just glowy and beautiful. These are amazing, $12, y'all were so right. And I knew I would love it. I mean, it wasn't like I didn't think I would like it and that's why I didn't get it. I just kind of kept putting it off for whatever reason, so. Finally got that one and love it. This one is a new one. This is the Wild and Alluring Baked Eyeshadow and Highlighter Palette. The outside packaging is adorable. And then you open it 
and it's adorable inside. It just makes me happy to look at it. I, it totally does. Cause this is just like fun makeup. Just like puts you in a good mood, happy makeup. I love it. This is the turquoise that I have um, on my lid today. I do have a little bit of this blush and this is kind of like a highlighter bronzer. I have a little bit of that on. And then this one is just gorgeous. So that's why I'm going to swatch it for you because I like it. And this one could be used as a blush. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, this turquoise. Oh, but this blush too is so good. I do have a little bit like, well, did I already say this, that I have a little bit of the bronzer? I don't know, but I was kind of surprised. I wondered if the highlighter bronzer thing would work for me and it actually does. So yeah. Look how beautiful that is. That's gorgeous. I use just a little bit of this, like just barely, just for a little bit of added glow. I love these so much. So the Wild and Alluring was like $10 and the Galaxy Chic was I think 12. So, I mean, just crazy affordable. If, it's, if you're trying to choose between the two, I don't know. I really love them both and they work really well together. They like, I don't know, they just, I mean, pretty much every day this week I was using both of them. So I feel like they really mesh well together. So I think you'd probably be happy with either of them and probably even more happy with both of them because they work really well together and they're just so affordable. Like, yes, these are a total, total win. I love the packaging. I love the theme to them. They're just happy, fun makeup that works really well. For blush this week, I did wear the one from the Wild and Alluring palette several times, so that's definitely a blush favorite. And then I was also loving my Laura Geller Blush and Brighten in Pink Buttercream. This is so pretty. I do have a combo of the two of them on right now, and I also have a highlight, so there's a lot going on there, but just know this is on there, and the other one's on there. Pink Buttercream is just this really pretty, everyday sort of blush color. Gorgeous, it's got the like swirled baked beautifulness going on. I've been mentioning Laura Geller's stuff recently quite a bit because I'm just loving her makeup, especially her baked stuff. I feel like it just has a very like fresh effortless look on your face. Like, I don't know, it doesn't look overdone or like you're wearing a ton of makeup, but it just enhances everything and looks so beautiful. So there's pink buttercream. It's gorgeous because it's a little bit pink, a little bit peachy, a little bit nude, but then it has that glow to it that is just gorgeous. And it's one of those colors that goes with everything. So I mean, you could throw this in your bag and it's gonna go with any makeup look you do. Just effortless, easy, and beautiful and wears really well throughout the day. I'm loving her stuff, loving it. And I love just that, like that fresh, beautiful look that it gives to the skin. So this is definitely a win this week. And then for lips, It Cosmetics was on QVC recently, which always like reignites my excitement for their brand. So I pulled out a couple of my lip favorites from them, wore these two together. They're beautiful by themselves, but they're really beautiful together. This lipstick is the Blurred Lines lipstick in Je Ne Sais Quoi. I love these lipsticks. They're so soft and like creamy and comfortable and beautiful. And they really do just blur everything on your lips. Oh, they're so pretty. So I'm gonna show you this by itself and then I'll show you with the gloss. So that's the lipstick and the gloss is the Vitality Butter Gloss in Pretty in Pink. It just looks pretty, it looks girly. And I love that, it has the little like it written all over here. It's so cute. I feel like the packaging is beautiful. They, they both smell good. Oh yeah, they both smell like vanilla, like MAC lipsticks. Oh my gosh, this is such a pretty combo. It's like a very, it's that sweet effortless look again, that fresh makeup look. Just totally like, oh, I didn't even do anything with my makeup. I just have really pigmented shiny pink lips naturally. <laughs> I feel like that's almost, I mean, obviously people know you're wearing lipstick, but it doesn't look overdone. You know what I mean? So there's the lipstick, there they are together, and there is the gloss by itself. Aren't they pretty? Like they're beautiful by themselves, but I feel like they're just like made to pair together. They just go. And they're really both hydrating and comfortable on the lips. And then that vanilla smell just makes it even better. 
But it's, it's also like because it's that glossy, sweet sort of look, I feel like it's less maintenance. You know what I mean? I feel like I can put it on my lips and if my lip line isn't quite perfect, it's okay because it's a sweet, sweet kind of natural pink lip color. It's got that shine to it. So I feel like it doesn't have to be perfect. You know what I mean? So not only is it comfortable on the lips, but also I don't have to worry about it as much. And it has that effortless fresh look. And I love this lipstick that I'm wearing right now. So Merle Norman is coming out with a new collection. It's gonna be permanent, which is so exciting. It's called, I believe, the Red, White, and You collection, which is so cute. It's gonna be in stores starting July 1st. And it's a really beautiful collection because they have really, really pretty lipsticks, which I love their lipsticks. They're really, really comfortable. And they have different colors. There's like a pink, um, a bright red, a dark red, a berry, I believe, and a nude. So this is a standout for me. I love this one. This is a really pretty pink in Cheerleader. And you can see it on my lips. It's, it's one of those pinks that... I love these kind of pinks because by themselves, like if you just do this with a really fresh makeup look, it's just a beautiful pink. You know what I mean? It's just a sweet, girly pink. But if you pair it with kind of some other fun colors, because it's got that like cool tone, sort of a twist to it, it almost goes a little bit into the 80s sort of a look, which I really love. I think that's, I've always loved kind of 80s inspired sort of makeup. So like I said, if you wear it with just a neutral eye or whatever, it's not going to necessarily have that look. It's just going to look like a really pretty cool tone pink. But if you pair it with a turquoise eye look like I have right now, you've got that kind of like fun 80s vibe, which I think is so nice. But it's just a beautiful cream lipstick. It's got a nice little bit of a sheen to it. Really comfortable on the lips. So comfortable. Do these smell? No, I don't smell anything. I thought these had a vanilla scent, but I don't smell anything. So if you're sensitive to scents, you don't have to worry about it with these. And they're really nice and sturdy. Like this is heavy, nice packaging, like weighty packaging. So feels fancy. So I'm excited about this collection. Um, and it's gonna be, did I already say this? July 1st, and it's gonna be permanent. So I love that about it. We don't have to worry about it going away. It's permanent. And then I do have a Fooey this week, and this is really like, you're definitely a Fooey. I mean, you are a Fooey. This is the L'Oreal Color Riche Pocket Palette, and this is in Avant Garde Azure. So I showed this in my New at the Drugstore video Wednesday. I don't know. I don't know what it is with eyeshadow palettes like this from the drugstore. They're just sad and not good quality. And every time I'm like, maybe you'll be the one, I'll give you a try. And it's always bad. <laughs> like right there, it doesn't look horrible, but oh, I filmed to get ready with me using new drugstore stuff. So you'll get to kind of like see this in action. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I mean, I guess you can sort of make these two work, but those two are just total poo. <laughs> They're not pigmented. They're super powdery. They totally blend together and just get really muddy and not cute looking on the eyes. So, I don't know. And it's so confusing because the L'Oreal Infallibles are amazing. They're like high-end makeup quality. They are so good. And I really even like their motto shadows a lot. But this is just, at least this one, maybe I just got a dud, but this one... This is poo. I mean, this is bad. So this is a no for me. Would not recommend this. And it's just sad. Why wouldn't, like, what can they do with like maybe trying to press the L'Oreal Infallibles and like make them into some kind of a palette? That would be really exciting. So I would love it if they would do that. But for now, this is a no. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. And I wanted to let y'all know that I will not have a favorites up next week because Timothy and I are going on vacation, which is really exciting. Um, so if you wanna follow me on like Instagram and Snapchat, I'm sure that we will be posting there so you can kind of see like what we're up to and just sort of go along with us on our trip. So if you wanna follow us there, that's where we'll be posting, but I will have videos up next week. So you'll still see videos from me, just not a Friday favorites. And I might be probably pretty slow with replying to comments until we're back because 
I will be with him and just spending time with him and having fun on vacation. So wanted to give you all a heads up about that, but hope that you really enjoyed the favorites for this week. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.